Hello everyone, I am Dattatra Nikam. Welcome you all on our channel eFunda, new day, new topic. And our today's topic is Control Valve Design and Engineering Part 4C2. And thanks to RealPass for having wonderful animation. And if you are new to our channel, then please visit to our channel eFunda and watch all the videos created related to the various topics of fundamental engineering, instrumentation and control engineering deliverables procurement engineering, telecommunication engineering and many more. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. So let's begin with our today's topic that is control valve design engineering part 4C2. Fundamentals of control valve design as we are going to present this in a part. Fundamentals of control valve part 4C1 is already published on our channel. Control Valve Design and Engineering Part 4C2, this video, Control Valve Installation Application Part 4C3, that will be our last video. Before starting our today's video, please watch our previous video, Fundamentals of Control Valve, and then it will be easy to understand the sequential video series. Control Valve Terminology and Fundamentals. First, Control Valve. A Control Valve is a final control element which regulates the rate of fluid as the position of the valve plug or disc is changed by the force from the actuator. Second, flow coefficient of a valve. Flow coefficient of a valve is the flow capacity of a valve commonly expressed by the cofactor or KV factor. Third, control valve capacity that is a CV. Flow coefficient CV is defined as the number of gallons per minute that is a GPM at 60 degree Fahrenheit that will pass through full open valve with a pressure drop of 1 PSIG. The KV value is the metric equivalent in meter cube per hour with a 1 bar pressure drop. CV is equals to 1.15 into KV factor. Fourth, FL liquid pressure recovery coefficient. FL value becomes smaller, the vena contracta pressure becomes increasingly lower than the valve outlet pressure that is a P2 and the valve is more likely to cavitate. So FL under square root of differential pressure that is a P1 minus P2 divided by P1 minus PV into VF where the rated FL it is the actual FL value for a particular valve and a trim style. Required FL it is the value calculated for a particular service condition. It indicates required FL needed to avoid choke flow. If the rated FL is less than the calculated FL, the liquid will be choked with cavitation is the condition you will face. Fifth, Vana contractor that is a VC. To understand this, one can refer to the picture where restriction is shown against the flow of a inlet pressure of a P1 and the differential pressure while crossing at the outlet through the restriction is a P2. Also, similarly, one can see the pressure diagram. So, the Vana contractor is where the jet of flowing fluid is smallest. The actual location where the cross sectional area of the flow stream is at its minimum size where fluid velocity is at highest level and where the fluid pressure is at the lowest level. One can see the difference in the pressure diagram. The vena contractor normally occurs just downstream of the actual physical restriction shown in the control valve. Sixth, vapor pressure that is a PV. Vapor pressure is the pressure where the fluid will change from the liquid to vapor state. The liquid will change to a vapor below the vapor pressure and a vapor will change to a liquid above the vapor pressure. One can refer to the pressure diagram. The vapor pressure increases, the temperature also increases. Seven, cavitation. The cavitation is a two-stage phenomena. One can refer to the figures where the valve and the graph is shown. Stage 1 where bubble forms and at stage 2 bubble collapse. 
and occurs in the control valve when the liquid media application is used and can refer to the figure where the vena contractor pressure is shown in the graph first case where the cavitation or pressure recovery at the discharge or outlet of the valve is more and this condition is not crossing the vapor pressure that stage is called as the cavitation and in the second stage where one can see the inlet pressure that is p1 is crossing to the vapor pressure where actually the pressure vapor bubbles forms below the fluid vapor pressure and start the low pressure recovery that is a high velocity point at the vena contracta and while crossing or recovering the vapor bubbles collapse above the fluid vapor pressure and this is how the cavitation conditions occur and to minimize the cavitation conditions following stages can be applied analysis of a process condition to actual control the pressure drop and the velocities to ensure that the liquid pressure does not fall below the vapor pressure thus eliminating the cavitation altogether which we have seen in the case 1 and case 2 second avoidance by change in the valve location the best way to handle the cavitation is to avoid it altogether one can refer to below pictures where the valve positions or the locations are shown where the cavitation occurs when the outlet pressure of the valve is fairly close to the vapor pressure of the liquid third condition that is the c use of the hardened material the plug and the seat are made up of material that can resist the damage example is the elated hard facing of the trim or the seat stages use of the special material trims these are the steps you can follow so that it will avoid the cavitation similarly moving on to the flashing one can refer to the figure second where even vapor pressure and p2 conditions are shown where actually p2 remains at the vapor pressure below where flashing condition is that occur with a liquid flow where the pressure falls below the vapor pressure one can see the figure and remains below it therefore there are two phases flowing that is the liquid and vapor downstream and so as to minimize or special precautions can be taken care where hard face trim using hard facing material such as stellite or the tungsten carbide can be used use of more erosion resistance body material or increase size of the valve thus reducing the velocity passing through the restriction use of angle wall will give flow over the plug and which will avoid the flashing ninth choked valve for understanding this part one can refer to the figures where actually the flow condition through vena contracta is shown and the graph against the wall inlet and the valve discharge similarly the pressure chart is also shown the flow is said to be choked when the vena contracta vc is filled with a vapor from the cavitation or a flashing b fluid velocity at the vena contracta reaches to the sonic means actually the vapor pressure that is a pv it is the pressure at which the given liquid will vaporize at the given temperature ff that is a critical flow factor the ff factor is an indication of the valve vena contractor pressure relative to the valve outlet pressure one can see the pressure chart where inlet condition outlet condition vapor pressure and vena contractor pressure point is shown and similarly non choke flow and choke flow where actually the dp choked condition is shown and further on the no change in the outlet of the flow which is called the choke flow condition 
a choke flow otherwise known as a critical flow which takes place in a valve when an increase in the pressure drop across valve no longer has any effect on the flow rate passing through the valve it occurs when the velocity of the gas or the vapor reaches to the tonic level that is a mac 1 at the vena contracta point which we have discussed just now the graph similarly the choke flow is not necessarily a problem in a valve but does need to be considered in the cv calculations while the calculating the cvs generally for the liquid choke flow indicates the onset of a full cavitation which usually require a special steps to be taken so as to reduce further damage inside the valve and with the help of clean gases there is no problem of the choke flow condition use of the choke pressure drop in an any of the equations where you are calculating the cv or the flow rate where high noise level may be generated and solid particles in a gas flow will causes erosion due to high velocity involved in the process with a liquid full cavitation will occur when the flow is choked moving on to flow characteristic inherent and installed type the flow characteristic of a valve shows that the flow rate of a flow of the fluid for the range of a valve travel or operation and their types of flow characteristic today we are going to see the differentiation between inherent flow characteristic and installed flow characteristic inherent flow characteristic is plotted for the flow rate through a valve or a cv against percentage opening with a constant pressure drop across the valve whereas in the installed flow characteristic is the pressure drop across the valve will vary as the plug moves through its travel path here the characteristics one can see the graph below where quick opening linear and equal percentage characteristics are shown and how the characteristics are generated with the help of the specially designed plug where one can see the quick opening linear type and equal percentage plug type so linear type is a flow capacity increases linearly with wall travel equal percentage flow capacity increases exponentially with trim wall travel equal increment of a wall travel produces equal percentage changes in the existing cv quick opening type provides a large change in the flow for very small change in the lift similarly in the installed characteristic one can see the two graph where linear flow characteristic and equal percentage flow characteristics are shown one can see the first graph that is a linear flow characteristic where typical installed characteristic versus inherent characteristics are shown one can identify the difference how the pressure is varying with respect to the plug moves during their travel similarly for the equal percentage type one can see the typically installed characteristic versus inherent characteristics one can observe the difference in the flow travel path similarly one can see the difference where inherent flow characteristics do not reflect the actual performance of the valve as installed shows the ideal condition of the constant valve pressure drop that is delta p is unlikely to be true and the opening characteristic will have a deviation from the inherent characteristic and is term installed flow characteristic now moving on to understanding of rangeability and turn down in the control valve one can refer to the picture where the flow across the valve is shown and see the difference where we are going to correlate the rangeability and turn down into control valve 11 valve rangeability rangeability indicates the extent of a flow values that the valve can reliably regulate 
and is often reported as a ratio of the largest to the smallest flow which can be controlled acceptably that means rangeability refers to a control valve's inherent characteristic rangeability is the ratio of a maximum flow by minimum controllable flow valves with a higher rangeability are sometimes desirable but this will be very expensive to manufacture since the very close tolerance are involved between the disc and the seat of the valve a typically commercial valve generally has a rangeability about 35 to 50 now moving on to the turn down it is the ratio of a ratio between maximum usable flow and the minimum controllable flow usually is less than the rangeability turn down ratio refers to a valve's installed characteristics and generally in terms of the rangeability is used to describe the capability of a control valve there is a ratio of a maximum cv of the valve to the minimum cv at which it can control whereas the term turn down is generally used to describe the requirement of an application this is how one should understand the rangeability and turn down of a control valve with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel e funda then subscribe to our channel e funda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel e funda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and keep watching our channel e funda for various topics related to engineering and a project with this we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic keep watching our channel e funda thanks watch our channel for new day new topics